Drone warfare has redefined modern combat, shifting the focus from traditional measures of military strength, like tanks or aircraft carriers, to strategies emphasizing stealth, affordability, and scalability. Recent conflicts, such as the ongoing war in Ukraine, have highlighted the growing importance of unmanned systems, with both sides utilizing drone swarms to gain tactical advantages. This approach is now extending to naval operations too. A year ago, Defense Central reported that Boeing delivered the first Orca extra-large unmanned undersea vehicle to the U.S. Navy. Designed to combine endurance with versatility, the Orca represents a significant step in incorporating unmanned technologies into maritime strategies. So, in this video, let's take a proper look at the Orca undersea drone, exploring its design, capabilities, and strategic implications for the U.S. Navy. The Orca Extra Large Unmanned Undersea Vehicle is based on Boeing's Echo Voyager platform, which emphasizes modularity and adaptability. Measuring 15.5 meters in its standard configuration, the Orca XLUUV can be extended by 10.4 meters using an optional modular payload section, increasing its payload capacity to 8 tons. This adaptability allows the Orca to serve various roles, from intelligence gathering to mine clearance. It can even function as a drone mothership, capable of deploying smaller unmanned vehicles for complex, multi-layered missions. One of the Orca's standout features is its cargo bay, which boasts around 70 cubic meters of storage capacity. This compartment is designed for modular payloads, allowing the platform to be tailored to specific mission needs, such as anti-submarine warfare, surveillance, or even strike operations. The modular design ensures that the Orca can quickly adapt to changing operational demands, offering a level of flexibility unmatched by traditional submarines. The Orca's hybrid propulsion system supports extended missions. Combining diesel generators with lithium-ion batteries, the system enables the Orca to travel up to 12,000 kilometers without human intervention. During operations, the vehicle alternates between submerged cruising and surfacing to recharge its batteries, enabling deployments that can last weeks or even months. While its top speed is 14.5 km per hour and its cruising speed is 6.4 km per hour, these figures prioritize endurance and stealth over raw speed, aligning with its strategic purpose. The Orca's autonomous navigation system allows it to perform missions with minimal oversight. It can depart from a friendly port, navigate to its destination, complete its mission, and return, all without the need for human intervention. This capability significantly reduces logistical complexity and the risks associated with deploying manned vessels in contested environments. The Orca can take on high-risk missions traditionally reserved for manned submarines, such as intelligence collection in hostile waters, while eliminating the dangers faced by crewed platforms. Beyond its immediate operational capabilities, the Orca reflects the U.S. Navy's broader shift toward embracing unmanned technologies. It serves as a testbed for integrating autonomous systems into fleet operations, setting the stage for the next generation of unmanned vehicles. By reducing reliance on larger, more expensive manned platforms, the Orca offers a cost-effective alternative for maintaining maritime superiority in an era of budget constraints and evolving threats. This shift becomes even more critical as tensions with China continue to rise, particularly over Taiwan. With China's military focused on being ready for potential action by 2027, the Orca could play a key role in disrupting Chinese naval operations. According to some analysts, the Orca's ability to autonomously lay mines in the shallow waters surrounding Taiwan offers a strategic advantage, complicating Chinese naval movements and creating an obstacle for any invasion attempts. The threat of mines could delay or alter Chinese military plans, especially considering Taiwan's key location and its strategic importance to China's ambitions in the region. However, 
It is also important to mention that the ORCA program has not been without its challenges. Development delays and cost overruns have plagued the project, with the Government Accountability Office reporting a 64% budget increase and a three-year extension to its original timeline. But despite these setbacks, the ORCA's successful sea trials demonstrated its endurance, reliability, and functionality, validating its design and operational potential. One thing is for sure. The Orca undersea drone now represents a critical advancement in the U.S. Navy's transition to a more autonomous fleet. Its modularity, adaptability, and endurance provide solutions to the challenges posed by modern maritime threats, from contested waters to anti-access, area-denial environments. By reducing reliance on traditional manned vessels, the Orca enables the Navy to conduct high-risk operations while minimizing risks to personnel. As the U.S. Navy continues to integrate unmanned systems into its operations, the insights from the ORCA program will definitely play a crucial role in advancing next-generation technologies for even more effective and versatile platforms. What do you think? Let us know in the comments below. And if you found this article informative, Make sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for the latest defense news and analyses.